I'm Mark Bunn, and I lead the SaaS business operations team for Nokia's Cloud and Network Services Business Group. Thank you for joining me in this journey through the six principles of the SaaS universe. Let's turn to the principles of the SaaS universe. These principles are the foundation for how a mature SaaS company operates at a high level of commercial and technical scale. I'll start with the principle of due diligence. We expect every SaaS service to undergo deliberate, rigorous analysis of the security and threat management profile aligning with local regulations in the customer service region. In addition, it is crucial that production systems are immutable. While this may sound a bit confusing, the definition is simple. In mature SaaS services, the production service itself cannot be modified by human intervention. The only way to modify a service, whether changing the software version or modifying the configurations of the underlying platform resources, is through software. All management of the lifecycle of the service is performed by code, with only extreme exceptions of manual intervention referred to as break glass. The principle of market readiness addresses our preparation to launch new SaaS services and manage them at scale. A second related principle is customer churn rate, also referred to as customer attrition. Renewal is the lifeblood for any subscription-based business. It is relatively easy for SaaS customers to choose another option by lifting our customer focus beyond customer support to customer success we demonstrate that commercial risk is much more balanced between the vendor and customer than with a traditional upfront license-based business model where the customer assumes substantially more risk. Mature SaaS companies deliver the value that keep a core customer base of 80% or more intact for the long term. Architecture drives profitability and therefore low total cost of ownership for SaaS customers. Application of cloud-native principles are essential to ensure a highly reliable and scalable service. Finally, the SaaS service should be available at least 99.9% .9 of the time, with some services perhaps requiring even higher service level objectives. Thank you for listening. I'm Mark Bunn.